All right, so first things first is I started creating my X-Men badge. All I did was take the piece of paper that was inside the button to use as a template for the background of the badge since the X-Men badge has sort of a yellow trim around it. And all I did was take a piece of tape and stick it to that and then just keep on cutting until I found the shape that actually fit inside the button. Next, I started doing the red shape, which goes on top of the yellow. And I just kind of used the yellow paper as a template and kept cutting the round red paper to make sure it was just slightly smaller than the yellow one. So right here, I am tracing templates for the X. Now I'm taking the template I made for the X and cutting it on the black paper. So again, I take a piece of tape, stick it behind the template and put it on the actual paper cut that I want to use. Finally, I put all my pieces together and glue them in the order that they need to be glued. So yellow and then the red paper on the yellow and then the X on top of the red part. And now I'm doing the necessary trimming to make sure it fits inside of the button. So now onto the cape. All I did was take my gold fabric and I placed it on my cape to measure the length so I can paste it on top of my cape. So what I'm about to do here is I am going to mark and measure three sides of the fabric to put on the three sides on where I'm going to have the gold trimming on my cape. So basically the two sides and the bottom is the only place where I put the trimming. And next, once you've measured out all the parts, you just start cutting along each side. So 
So once I cut out all three pieces of the fabric I needed, I glued each piece of fabric and folded it in half. The reason I folded it in half is because this type of fabric has a jagged edge and once you fold it in half, you glue the jagged edge part to the inside of the cape where no one sees and then the folded, the folded part is um, on the outside of the cape. So the nicer part is the one that's seen. When you finish gluing the fabric to the cape, it should look like this, where the jagged edge is on the part where no one can see, and the actual part of the cape shown should have the folded end. So this is the one piece backless leotard I use for my costume, and it came from Amazon and it was about $15. So these are the arm covers I used and they're sort of like a pleather material and they're not super stretchy but again I got this from Amazon and it was $8.99 and also the boot covers that I used were from Amazon and they costed about $12.40 and these were really stretchy and I love these and I will definitely use them for another costume idea. I purchased this wig from Amazon for $15.99 and it is a platinum blonde synthetic wig and it was about 28 inches long and it really fit the costume and the quality of the wig was pretty good. And finally, Storm's infamous eyes. So I got these contacts from coloredcontacts.com and they were about $30. that even I'm here at Supercon, I'm still doing my workouts. I got that booty storm. There you go, right? Squats. Squats. <laughs> I said, I did it last year. I love these contacts. Alright, so we're we gonna walk into the thing. If we don't see anything after that, we're gonna leave. I'm gonna let you know what time. You know what? Let me hit the wall right, in the storm. <laughs> I gotta do it. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do one more spin and then I gotta go. It's time to go around. Okay. One more spin for my fans. For all my fans. Wait, I'm gonna go like this. She goes like that. Oh, this is my favorite pose. X.